hello this is shankar and today is janamashtami happy janamashtami to everybody and uh, in my series of my experiences in astrology i was talking about rahu and ketu so again today i am going to talk about rahu and ketu uh, finishing this uh, particular thing which i had left in the last video so rahu and ketu if you want to really take care of them rahu in the first house do things which are remedies which you call remedies uh, which are good for the sun remedies of sun will protect rahu in the first house will not make it do negative when it is the first house in the four, fourth house remedies of jupiter will make rahu better in seventh house the remedies of saturn will make it better in tenth house the remedies of mars will make it better so that is how the remedy should be when rahu are in the one first fourth seventh and tenth house now one should also remember that uh, rahu uh, gives the results positive or negative results till the age of 42 I mean, it comes into force at the age of 42. So the positive results, the culmination of the positive results, also start at the age of 42, and the negative results also, if they are there, they start at 42. And for Ketu, it is 48. So in Bal Pag, you have to see that if Rahu is very strong, a person would, of course, uh, Rahu is always governed by, you know, uh, Saturn. Saturn plays a very important role with Rahu. I mean, it is the it is the person which makes the work do. uh which makes its uh, uh delivery i mean it's the the deliverable of saturn is through rahu so you have to look at saturn whenever you look at rahu so you know if saturn is strong we rest assured that after 42 i mean it's very strong the person which go rise after 42 and if saturn is very weak and not good the person is going to have a fall a downfall after 42 now similarly mercury is also a planet which also gets its Uh, gets its work offloaded uh, onto rahu it is rahu which carries on the work of mercury and mercury is a very unpredictable planet so it governs a, it's a very important planet and it has been given such a large portion in chotri dasha also 17 years it's a very important planet it is a planet which governs people uh, be little led by saying that only governs intellect but it governs most of the things in life because you know it is it, it is what it is the way a person moves in life is all because of mercury and anything which is large huge round um, spectrum communications anything dealing with anything which has you know a kind of a, a quickness in it speed in it lightning in it uh, change in it it's all governed by mercury of course there's role of venus also there but mercury governs a lot of things even large uh, large sports fields all that is governed by mercury so even the good and bad results of mercury are also you know are through rahu but it may not it it amplifies or reduces the results of rahu at the age of 42 so 42 is a ball park figure for rahu and 48 i say for ketu ketu again is a planet which is uh, which which is a planet which is governed by jupiter I and mean, jupiter has a very important role in offloading its karmic effects to ketu a lot of karmic effects which are in jupiter as a planet is offloaded in ketu never be under the impression that it is the uh, planets which uh, uh, are there in the orbit it's it it is all there in your brain it's the brain which has kind of a kind of a, uh, kind of a um, electric it is compartments in the uh, large vedas it is written that it is it is the brain is divided into compartments and these compartments interplay between each other and uh, produce certain kind of impacts which have been explained by the qualities of jupiter saturn moon and mercury so is it as it is outside is so is inside so the whole brahmand is your brain so everything which happens is inside you and that makes your destiny so today again with this i wish everybody a happy janamashtami and uh, uh, janamashtami was basically lord krishna telling a fearful person like arjun who was stricken with fear grief stricken with fear to you know come up and fight for for the right so and that's that that is where you know uh, that is what uh, krishna could be a super psychologist of today uh, he is a god and he is also also at all points of time he was just a witness to all what is happening in life he himself had done a lot of karma where he was born in captivity where he was uh, born uh, then he was uh, you know then he was uh, lived under fear of so many of the demons in uh, vrindavan 
he helped so many people uh, he told them that not to fear indra he told them uh, not to fear the snake in the water and then he fled from there went to uh, went to gujarat dwarka he established a kingdom there he was a great statesman so his life himself has been a series of karmas and whenever you are in a body like we are and you are not in the cosmos you have to do you have to be doing karmas and the right karmas only thing those karmas should be for the greater good of the society and next thing don't be affected by the actions you are doing i mean you know uh, surrender them surrender the actions to the supreme uh, consciousness of krishna that is what uh, that is what uh, that is what is said and uh, that is how astrology also in its perfect way has its planets working around yourself and making you act so remember action and doing greater things for the good for others for society for others it starts with human beings then people then society and also you know whatever you do if you have um, uh, less of envy less of jealousy less of being fear or fearful those negative traits all of us have but you can reduce them by all your positives you get in life and all the negatives that happen in life you know put them uh, on the feet of krishna the krishna consciousness the people try to follow things in part and use gita in part which is a very sad thing which is happening today i feel though i am no one near what uh, lord krishna as a super psychologist or as krishna consciousness has been explained thanks and bye for now and uh, i'll look up in the next video thank you very much this is shankar rao signing out you can contact me at connectingstars@gmail.com uh, you have my site shankarstudy.com shankar with you thank you thanks a lot once again and once again a very happy janamashtami